Good evening, it's June 3rd, 2014, and I thought I'd do a quick update on the strawberry tower and the cracky system in the greenhouse. As you can see, the strawberry tower is doing extremely well. I think I'm on my third nutrient change since I started it. Got good blossoms coming on the plants, and there's quite a few plants now that have actually here's one that's starting to change to red already this plant here is doing extremely well all of them look healthy there's another one got strawberries on it now as a direct comparison what I did was I had a couple extra plants so I put them in these small one gallon earth bags and they get fed similar to what the hydro hydroponic system is getting. But you can see these, this plant has a, a strawberry on it and a few buds coming, but those are lagging behind. So it appears that the hydroponic system has it beat. That's a good looking plant. Probably the most important change that I've made here is the pump. On Mike Walker's channel, he's uh, he uses 12 volt pumps. He's changed over to 12 volts. Now the pump on the left here is a little giant pump, and that was the pump I was using. And that little tiny minuscule thing here, you would never think that could do what it needs to to, to pump fluid up to the top of this strawberry tower but it works just extremely well now the I have a watt meter the little giant uses 41 watts of power that 12 volt pump uses 3 watts of power that's a 73 percent reduction in power consumption and ho hopefully a 73 percent reduction in heat generation this pump was pretty warm when I took it out today. As a matter of fact, it's still warm. But I, th I thought that was amazing. I and I will put the eBay link for these pumps out there. Um, like I said, it, it's running right now and the pumping, pumping fluid up to the top of this thing. It has a maximum head of nine feet. So I, I thought that was kind of neat. I do have a small Dutch bucket system that I'm experimenting with this year and I'll be changing out that pump as well here in the next few days as soon as I can get the power supply hooked up and that pump that I'm using right now uses 36 watts so it'll again it'll be quite a reduction in power consumption and hopefully less heat. So that's about it as far as the strawberry tower is. Oh, I do have another strawberry tower under construction. It's similar to this, but I made some changes to it. Uh, so stay tuned for that. So let's head on out to the greenhouse. And I have, in fact, got my first Kratky system installed. I took the uh, wicking bed out yesterday and I got this installed yesterday afternoon. Hopefully this will work well. And time will tell. The poor plants are going through a little bit of a shock here. I took some of the plants from the one wicking bed I had and I put it in one of the tubs on the the nearest side here and the seedlings I purchased um, at Lowe's, I believe. And they were already started, so they weren't quite as shocked. They didn't have the rip me out of the soil and stick me in something else uh, syndrome. But this is looking good. And the wicking bed that was here, I took out and... Oh, that was a job. I, I got one more wicking bed to move and I'm, I'm not looking forward to it. 
but the looking bed is now sitting right here and I'll plant that hopefully uh, the next day or so if it doesn't rain but uh, hopefully I'm not going to move this again uh, back to the greenhouse I do have that one remaining wicking bed and, and again the lettuce is just amazing really impressive the uh, the tomato plant, that's up about four feet anyway. I got quite a few tomatoes on it. These cherry tomatoes. They're coming along. Still, even with the shade cloth, it's still pretty warm in there. I got up to about 100 today. And on the crab key system, what I did was I put a sheet of reflective mylar up on top trying to provide a little more shade. My uh, air pruned cucumber plant is up about five foot now. Quite a few cucumbers coming. And again for upstate New York this is remarkable. I mean it's just never had anything like this before. Usually it's July or August before you see anything like this. And last but not least, my one beefsteak has come along pretty good. I, I see I got one tomato started. Still looking good. The ceiling fan helps move the air in here. That's the update for now. Things are progressing well. Take care and have a nice day.